Romeo Echo Zulu. Romeo Echo Zulu, come back with the uh, full call sign, please. Romeo Echo Zulu, come back with the uh, full call sign, please. Yeah, good afternoon. Kilo Juliet 4, Romeo Echo Zulu. There's not really anything I can adjust on this radio. It's really old, just a mic game. But uh, just wanted a general idea how you thought it sounded. Uh, it sounds pretty good for out of control. <laughs> I guess that's what you're saying. You know, we we always have control over our videos, and it's amazing. You know, proximity to microphone is uh, the old way that uh, people EQ'd their radio. You know, we didn't have onboard equalization, so it was a matter of of how you worked the microphone as to your EQ pattern. And, uh, you know, the closer you work your microphone, the more bottom end uh, builds up and uh, the uh, the bassier it gets uh, to uh, strike balance with it. It's all about striking balance to the mid-range, from the, from the low frequencies to the mid-range and from the, the high frequencies to the mid-range. So, uh, you know, like I say, the old way was uh, how you uh, work the microphone. So why don't you give me about uh, 10 seconds on your antenna system and let me hear you a little bit. About uh, 10 seconds on your antenna system. Let me hear you a little bit. All righty, I'm seeing a horse antenna about 15 feet to the ground, maybe not even that high. It's flat top pointing east and west, and uh, running about 400 watts. And I'm on an original ICOM 706. It's about 25 years old. KJ for RDZ actually. Roger, Roger. And what was the name again, please? And Floyd, uh, your location, please. Uh, Floyd, uh, your location, please. I'm in uh, upstate South Carolina. The band's dropping out on it. Yeah, that ain't the only thing. My uh, <laughs> my Milford SDR is taking a hike also, so I got to bring I got to bring that back up. Uh, we do this. Uh, because uh, of why, I don't know, but uh, Milford has some regulations about uh, how long you can be on before they start, uh, you know, dumping you off. And, uh, and if you don't do anything, they dump you off before in inactivity. Well, anyway, I've got uh, Milford to back up. And um, uh, looking at your audio, uh, you do have uh, about a 3 dB dynamic range, which is uh, exactly where uh, I would be looking to put you. So you're there. You're there already, and the equalization, uh, while you may not be able to call it, uh, control it precisely, uh, that does sound very good, Roger. Yeah, it does sound very good, Roger. Oh, I'm glad you said that. Because, <laughs> um, I don't know, like, um, I don't know, like, ten months ago, you and I, you and I uh, conversed, and my audio was really pent up, and I did a lot of homework, and, um, this particular radio, there's a filter, the FL-103, which cost me $400, but I went ahead and bought it, and uh, it's very rare to find, to uh, put in this radio. And that bridge did bring it from 2.4 bandwidth to a 2.8, and um, there's no way to turn it off or on. It's just once you install the filter, that's it. So uh, I was thinking it sounded better. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're sounding sounding very good. Now, I'm, I might have been hearing a blower come up. Uh, um, does that radio have a compressor? I'm just curious. Um, does that radio have a compressor? I'm just curious. It does, but it doesn't work. And um, you are hearing the blower that inside the radio. It just um, when you key up, it's just super loud. There's not a whole lot I can do. So I've got the mic game really, really low, and my desk is really, really small, so I can't get the microphone away from the radio, if you know what I mean. Yes, sir. The only possible uh, remedy would be for you to get yourself closer to the microphone to increase your signal-to-noise ratio, your voice. Uh, to, to noise. So uh, uh, the, the closer you can get to that microphone, uh, the better off. Now, you know, the option to that would be to get a swing arm uh, and get that uh, mic on a swing arm, and that way uh, you, can, you can get it exactly where you need it, Roger. Uh, you, can, you can get it exactly where you need it, Roger. 
Roger, roger. Yeah, I know that. And uh, other people have made comments. What's that noise in the background? A big amplifier? It's like, no, that's just my radio. <laughs> but, uh, all right, Jim, I know there's a lot of people anxious to get with you. I was just curious how I sounded. And uh, you made my day because I spent all that money and I wasn't sure if it actually worked. Because in most cases, changing the filters do not change the audio bandwidth. But in this particular radio, it was supposed to hence the expense of the filter. So uh, I'll say 73s, and I'll, I'll look for my audio on YouTube so I can hear it myself in a couple of days. Thank you again, Jim. Appreciate what you do, partner. KJ4, R-E-Z. Roger, Roger, Floyd. And the other option to that is uh, some uh, outboard uh, EQ gear. You know, uh, outboard EQ gear that would uh, bring bring along a little compression and a little equalization uh, also. So uh, sometimes when you do not have those capabilities uh, within your radio, you can uh, get uh, those uh, devices uh, that go external to your radio and um, be able to uh, to to bring that radio uh, right up to uh, today. Uh, as far as being able to control exactly what what you want to do, so just keep that in mind. Also, so you know, between a swing arm and uh, some outdoor EQ gear, uh, gosh, uh, you'd be uh, doing it. You know, just uh, absolutely beautiful. Now you're doing beautiful now, but you, you know, we can always uh, improve. So we, you know, at least you have some options uh, ahead of you if you would consider those. I'll say 73 there, Floyd. Uh, thanks for dropping by, sir. You have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. This is uh, KC9BKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.